Hey, Fidel here. Uh, we are going to be making a pepperoni pizza using our homemade dry cured uh, traditional pepperoni, which I showed you in my previous video, and here it is. Uh, we have some uh, uh, hard skim shredded mozzarella. I could not get my hands on whole milk mozzarella, but this is going to do for today because the star of the show is the homemade pepperoni. We're not. We're going to be real simple. We're only going to add onions, no other toppings, just onions for contrast. And uh, we don't have Parmigiano Reggiano today. We have a uh, what is that? Uh, this is uh, Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano. That's right. Okay, we have a 65% hydrated uh, pizza dough, uh, Neapolitan pizza dough, uh, salt, water, yeast, and flour only. Uh, it's part of my my uh, the recipe that I use. It's a kind of a a copycat of a Caputo recipe. I mean Caputo flour. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. Our oven is primed and ready, so we're gonna get started. It's a little dark here, but we'll bring the pizza to you in the light as soon as it's done. Oh. I'm gonna just lightly flour this in the bin and we'll bring it out here. Up for now. Okay. I haven't made pizza for quite a while. You know, uh, it's what's been going on in the world, plus, uh, you know, uh, just a uh, plain old bad weather here in Japan. We've had a uh, bad weather because of the rainy season. Rainy season was unusually long this year, but uh, we are going to do... Oh, that's the top. Okay, it's a little bit dark here, and I'm talking and doing two things at, this, at the same time, so... Oh, this dough is extra soft. Okay, which is good. Let's, uh... This. Okay. Get some cheese. cured pepperoni. Uh, they are a little bit smaller than your average store-bought pepperoni because uh, the casings I bought were smaller than standard pepperoni. Uh, partially because I'm a little impatient to, uh, uh, with uh, new hobbies like this. I, I want to uh, try the short version before I uh, start investing time in the long version. Uh, kind of like a, you know, doing some tests, you know, here and there. So, there we go. I think that might be enough. Okay. Let's send this guy into the oven. Situated. There we go. Forgot to add the uh, Pecorino Romano. Add that now. Okay, and into the oven we go. Okay. So today, come on over here. Yeah. Today Mia's running the camera because my uh, eldest daughter, she got a real job now, so she's no longer working for me behind the scenes. So my youngest daughter Mia, who's often in the videos, is uh, behind the camera today. Uh, so uh, we have, I think, we preheated this oven for about 45 minutes. So it, if you really want to preheat these ovens, uh, you can get them done in about 25 minutes if you have uh, very well 
dried uh, and seasoned wood. It's looking nice already. We give that a first turn. You can see the bottom there getting nice and uh, toasty. Exactly what we're looking for there. getting a little extra toasty so we'll just finish it off the floor. Give it a bit of a doming. And uh, we'll put that out here on my rack. I put my rack underneath here just for convenience. So. Here's our pepperoni pizza. We'll put it here in the light. Okay. Boy, that smells delicious. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, Mia's going to turn off the camera, and we're going to go inside and cut this and taste it for you. Okay, so here's our pizza. We can take a look at the bottom here. It's got some nice, uh, nice coloring there on the bottom. It's beautiful, I think. And uh, we're going to go ahead and slide that over to our cutting board. And give her a cut. Oh, I forgot to put onions on this, and I was talking about putting only onions on it, but hey, I was impatient, like I said, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Um, let's take a look. Uh, you can see a, a little bit of airiness there. It's uh, got some crunch there. Looks really good, so I'll go ahead and take this slice and give it a taste. Oh, wow. Mm. That's great. Um, if you've never considered making your own salamis and pepperoni at home, you should reconsider. This is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's, it's, it's indescribably better than store-bought pepperoni. I just can't, I just can't even describe it. It's a, it's got a beautiful taste. It's got a perfect balance of saltiness and spiciness without being it's not fiery or anything it's just just it's just great um anyway uh i'm gonna finish eating this my daughter is gonna dig in and uh this is it for this video anyway thanks for watching uh if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe uh, my my uh hiatus because of bad weather and other other things is uh, over for now. I'll be posting uh, more videos uh, coming soon. So take care. Hope your pizza.